Hey everyone, in this video we're going to see how to improve the performance of KVM policy in the runtime. Prerequisites for this video, you need Apache at your account, you can sign up at apache.com slash edge. You need basic understanding of uh, key value map policy, for that you can refer our layer phone mid video. As you know, you can store uh, simple uh, data in Apache Edge uh, key value map store. But whenever a request comes in and then you're trying to access this data, the data actually comes from Cassandra, which is an OSQL database. And it takes a little bit of time to pull the data from Cassandra because uh, the message processor where actually the API request happens, it is actually making a call to Cassandra to get this data. But you can store this data in the message processor, that means in the machine where the API processing is happening by caching the KVM data and specifying how long you can able to cache it. Let's see that in action. So I'm going to create a new key value map store. Uh, I'll say it as KVM underscore store three. And then add a new uh, KVM entry into the KVM store three. I'm gonna say it as uh, sample JSON and the value as uh, some JSON. Save it. And then let's try to retrieve this value and see the difference with cache and without cache. So I'm going to quickly create an API proxy. Click on press proxy. I will name it as uh, KVM cache demo slash v1 slash KVM cache and use existing API as uh, HTTP pin dot arc slash get. Choose authorization as pass through and choose uh, defaults. Quickly build and deploy uh, the proxy. Once the proxy is deployed, I'll navigate to a dollop screen and attach the KVM policy to retrieve the value. So click on dollop, click on preflow, click on step add the key value map policy and then remove the elements except get so i'm going to assign the value that i'm retrieving to json payload remove the index and then parameter is basically Name which is uh, sample JSON and then specify the map identifier is equal to kvm underscore store underscore three spelling name map identifier kvm store three. Okay, let's do one more call. As you can see, it took around 11 milliseconds because the call went to Cassandra and then pulled the data. Let's try to cache it and let's see the difference. So you can able to specify a uh, cache as expiry time in seconds. So I'm gonna say it as 3600 seconds, that is almost like an hour. So I have large uh, uh, intervals because if you give small intervals, then there will be a lot of uh, overload on trying to read these values and expiring it and again reading it from Cassandra. So when we say a cache, so it is going to cache in the message processor and retrieving the value from the key value map is going to be a lot faster. Let's see in action. Start transition once again. So as you can see again, the call took few milliseconds and uh, let's make few more calls. As you can see here, around eight milliseconds. As you can see, it's less than one millisecond. So the performance is a lot improved because the reason is now the KVM is cached in the same machine. As you can see, it is taking less than one millisecond to retrieve the value, which is which is completely negligible. So that's a kind of uh, performance improvement you get once you cache the data by specifying the expiry time in seconds in the KVM policy. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in community.apache.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and share the video.